Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of New Bern, located in Craven County, North Carolina, on March 14, 1862. Union General Ambrose Burnside left Roanoke with 13 infantry regiments consisting of over 11,000 troops. They were transported by U.S. Navy vessels, including 14 Navy gunboats. One of these gunboats was subsequently reassigned to guard the mouth of the Pamlico River due to an incorrect rumor of Confederates gathering there. The remaining 13 ships and the Union land forces traveled along the Neuse River and on March 13 disembarked on the southwest bank. There, they engaged with Confederate Brigadier General Lawrence O'Brien Branch's defenses at New Bern. The primary defensive line was anchored at Fort Thompson, located about six miles south of New Bern. The defensive line stretched to the west for over a mile, ending at the Atlantic and North Carolina Railroad. The early landing was beneficial to the Union and saved a lot of heartache for them. The Confederates had expected the Union troops to come to them by water and had five forts prepared for that. Fort Thompson was the largest of them, and in addition, the Confederates had set up 30 heavy guns on the shoreline. On the morning of March 14th at 8 a.m., the Union unleashed their attack. Union General Jesse Reno struck the center of the Confederate defenses, while General John G. Foster struck the Confederates on their left. General Reno found a gap in the defenses at the railroad at Brick Kiln. The Union punch was enough to break through, but that opening was short-lived as the Confederates responded quickly, sealing the breach. Union Brigadier General John G. Park's brigade charged against this weakened center. It was here that the Confederate forces broke and retreated. Confederate Commander Branch ordered reserves up to plug this hole, but the reinforcements were not quick enough. As the Union troops flowed through the opening, each of the Confederate regiments that were getting flanked retreated to avoid their men getting slaughtered. The Confederate forces retreated across the bridge, over the Trent River, and into New Bern, burning the bridge behind them. Unfortunately, this trapped some Confederates on the wrong side of the bridge, resulting in their capture by Union forces. They also attempted to burn a fire raft in the river in order to stop the Union ships. The raft accidentally drifted against the railroad bridge, the only other bridge across the river burning it up. Commander Rowan's ships moved in to attack the Confederates and received minor damage in exchange. They shelled Fort Thompson until the Confederate forces retreated and the fort was left abandoned. The Confederates did not reform until they had fled all the way to Kinston. At the end of the battle, the Union had suffered 90 men dead, 380 wounded, and one missing, while the Confederate troops had lost 64 men, 101 men were wounded, and 418 were captured. New Bern became the Union's largest base in eastern North Carolina and will be subject to future attacks by the Confederates. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. 